Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming here today. Welcome to the opening ceremony of Winter Challenge 2022. I can already see some of your faces. I would really be glad to see the rest of you. So I hope you're not shy and you can open your cameras. Hi, guys. Great, so I think that I've seen some of you to previous events. Uh, if you don't know me, hi, my name is Eleni and I will be your host for today. So I will be sharing the agenda of today and the speakers that are here today and I thank them very much. But before that, uh, we can see together the Winter Challenge 2022 statistics video that was also posted on our social media but I would also like us to see it here together in the opening ceremony. registrations might be closed, but uh, I saw some numbers that surprised me. And I'm really glad that we managed to have a thousand people this year, more than a thousand people actually, from over 40 countries. Uh, and the youngest one being 13. This is so surreal to me. Congratulations, guys. So uh, we can start with uh, the agenda. Um, give me one second. And I would like to call the first speaker for today, Daniel Fidorovic, who is the IO president. Daniel, hi. Uh, yeah, thank you, Eleni. Thank you very much. And greetings to everyone. Actually, uh, well, physically, I'm in the city of St. Petersburg right now. That's the city where the second IO took place. And it was the second on-site, and unfortunately, up to now, the latest on-site IO. Hopefully, the IO once will return on site and will take place in different cities, different countries around the world. But what one thing that pandemic, the forced um, move to online taught us, it's that we can gather together even though we cannot connect physically, even though we cannot be at the same city, be at the same venue simultaneously, the distance doesn't matter when we have the same goal, when we have the same uh, values, when we share the same opportunities that we want to use. So I'm congratulating you on the start of the IEO Winter, IOX Winter Challenge 2022. Um, I believe that IOX and the main, the big IEO together have be the sources for each other to grow. So that when the IEO, the big, the official IEO, which happens um, every summer grows in the number of countries, in the number of participants, in the number of contestants involved. Uh, it's one of the ways that IOX and IOX, IOX Winter Challenge in particular can grow in numbers. So an IOX Winter Challenge is also the source of growth for the main IO project. So the spillovers here are very important. And thank you very much. Thank you all for participating. And thank you, the organizing team of IOX Winter Challenge for doing this, for setting this event up. I really appreciate that we have a few, quite a few satellite projects for the IEO now and IOX Winter Challenge being maybe one of the most bright and the mo one of the most important of them. So hopefully IOX with, well, thousand participants registered is an impressive number. But I believe, and we've discussed it with Alexander a few times, that IOX Winter Challenge has a potential to grow by an order of magnitude. And you are 
the participants whose goal is not only to well to do the tasks which the organizing team will offer you but also spread the word about us about your experience and about uh iox winter challenge in particular and hopefully those of you who will graduate next year will whether or not they will participate in the ieo in summer you will join the team and you will help us develop the uh, io and its satellite projects as well so thank you all for coming greetings from russia and uh, congratulations on the iox iox winter challenge 2022 uh, start now i would like to give the floor to my colleague alexander who is actually responsible for creating this iox the whole project and who's and the main enthusiast of developing the initiatives that come together with the main IEO. Hopefully this will be a success for you, Alexander, and the floor is yours. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, I'm really very glad to see you all here too. And uh, that's been a wonderful speech uh, from our IEO president. Uh, I would really love to see more of your faces. If you could please switch the cameras on, uh, if, if you can. Uh, and without further ado, uh, actually, I wanted to, to, to make some intrigue here. I will be giving up some clues on the business case task in this introduction speech. And I want you all to try to guess it. Uh, in the chat now or later, uh, we'll see who gets closer uh, to what the task will be about. Uh, I've been developing the IO since it started four years ago. It was a huge event from the beginning and with 13 participating countries, <laughs> look at us now, <laughs> 50 almost. Uh, we have been inviting the most talented students from all around the world ever since. And while those students like you here came to a contest uh, to compete with themselves and their peers, um, I wanted to make it possible for them to get in touch with each other to communicate, to know and share more experiences from their world and life. And we made it happen step by step by creating an IOX community. Since then, I've learned many interesting things uh, that in some countries it's officially forbidden for women to sing. Some have closed almost all existing public schools. Some celebrate the new year twice, like our Chinese students do right now. Happy New Year, guys. Uh, did you know that the IO of this year is hosted by the China Partners section? Uh, I have also learned that some countries think that economics should teach a person on how to look to cook breakfast. Literally, uh, they put in their econo economics textbook how to fry an egg. Uh, alongside, <laughs> alongside with some more unexpected and for well, I cannot talk publicly about it. So here you can see some stats. And um, now I want to ask my colleagues to send the link to the Telegram chat uh, of the IOX community, if you can, to the chat, please. Um, so the IOX community is made to foster your interest in economics. But not only that, um, it's more aimed on showing you the diversity of life around you and by means of economics, um, you will be able to understand some common basic laws everyone has to live by. Joining in, you will be able to get in touch with people from many cultures, countries. We will present you some IOX projects a bit later. You can see those on the screen. And now I want to get to the point of why we all are here today. The IOX Winter Challenge. It's one of the community projects you are in it. Uh, originally, it was designed to represent all the best in the IOX at once. It has been organized in such a way that tasks were created by a former alumni of the IO. The challenge itself was conducted by the team of 20 people from nine countries, all working together. Some of their tasks uh, taught me about the survivor bias. I didn't pay attention to. Uh, it was a task about the airplane's armor in the war. Uh, it says something like where to put more shields 
<laughs> very interesting one. I recommend you to investigate it from the previous year uh, if you didn't see it. We wanted the winter challenge to be unique. Thus, we implemented the peer grading <laughs> and it worked. Uh, though through reviewing the presentation, students learned so much. You will soon be able to know uh, it for yourselves. Out of this work, side by side, even arose some friendships. I have traveled to see the most active people in, and they happened to like the idea to repeat this this year. So the core of the team appeared. And now those people are the faces you will see every day in the chats, emails, Zoom, during the winter challenge of 2022. And Christos and Lenny will tell you more about it. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, much, Alexander and Daniel. I completely agree with everything you've mentioned here. And in the IOX, we are all about building a community. So, but a community requires people and students and um, people that actually are interested in what the community has to do with. And before moving on to Christus, uh, I would like to present the video we've made. Thank you, Spyros, for that. Uh, with all of you uh, waving, or at least everyone that has sent us a video of him waving, uh, you were very creative. So just give us a second to share the screen for the video, and then we can move on to Christus. Hello, my name is Maya and I'm from Montenegro. Hello. 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 Hello from Brazil. Hi, hello everyone. Namaste, my name is Nika Goswami and I am from India. I am representing my country in the International Economics Olympia 2022 in the Winter Challenge. I am very happy to participate in such a great competition where we are having more than 1000 key participators. So we are having a common interest that is economics so I could judge my abilities there. In the tough situation of COVID-19 all the countries are struggling so I hope the competition goes well. And I'm very excited for the competition. Hope for the best. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Thank you. Boa sorte. I'm Ellie from China and I'm here to participate in the opening ceremony of IEO Winter Challenge. Hello, my name is Milena and I'm from Montenegro. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 
Hello, my name is Johan and I live in Brazil. Wow, so many different countries, so many different people. And I hope all of them get to make it here today. Thank you guys for sending us your videos. Um, oh, I really enjoyed the whole video. <laughs> it was amazing. So uh, we are moving on to Christus. Hello, everyone. Thank you for waving to us. Thank you for sending this beautiful video. It was one of the best moments of Winter Challenge. I am sure we uh, all take courage and uh, want to do many more things just because of those moments. That's the most important part of this community. Its existence is this video. It's all in here. It's very touching. Thank you for that. So I would like to present you the International Economics Olympiad Winter Challenge, the IOX Winter Challenge. We had the International Economics Olympiad, and it is great. And it is the most important competition in economics. Winners prepare for a successful career. Contestants are the best young economists of each participating country. It is not enough. It was not enough. And we needed a community of all those people, all those students, those teachers, those instructors. We really appreciate your really hard efforts all the organizers, and then IOX was born. And it helps us unite our willingness to educate the world in economics. And this target is really enormous and really tough. It was still not enough. And we had to create an event, an event open to really everyone. This is how Winter Challenge 2021 was born. Its success is a miracle. It was really unexpected. And I remember almost nothing of those days. Everything was too fast. Only time to sleep came too late. But it worked well. And now we are here for Winter Challenge 2022. It is better prepared than 2021. And we are stronger than 2021. Thanks to you. We have more than 1,000 contestants more than 35 instructors supporting their teams, more than 40 countries, 44, mm -hmm. and you make Winter Challenge stronger. I am really excited we are here. I am really excited we are here. And I hope soon these constructions can become self-sustainable. Let's now watch a video about the economics round, one of the rounds of the Winter Challenge. Watch it carefully and make sure that you prepare well. Questions sometimes are really tough. Thank you. On the 20th of February, wait for an email with a book widgets link for the economics round. Once it's time for it to start, enter the link and start answering the 20 multiple choice questions. Carefully read them and pay attention to the diagrams that might be given. For each correct question, you get 3 points. For each incorrect question, you get minus 1 point. For each question that you don't give an answer to, you get 0 points. Once you think you are done answering the economics questions, submit your answers and complete the information asked. Pay attention for any misspellings or incorrect information. So we hope that the victorious video was helpful for you. If you want more information on the economics round, you can always search for our website and uh, find the prepare link. Uh, you can also try the book widgets link from last year's winter challenge. 
And now we're moving on to the FLG and the business case, Alexander. Yeah, uh, the FLG as a simulation of the personal life through 30 years. Through, during those 30 turns, you are to take a decisions on allocating capital and managing the expenses to buy a dream and gain most points. Here's a video about it. Hi, here are the instructions on how to be victorious in the FLG. First of all, you need to log in using your personal codes that will be sent to your emails by the WIC work group. Once you enter the game, pay close attention to the time and remember that you have a total of 30 turns. By clicking the arrow, you will see all of the options available to you. For example, your budget, the titles you can buy and the cushion that you need to maintain. Don't forget about the goods and services. Your aim is to maximize your points, but be careful to not mistake them for your portfolio amount. When you have chosen the amounts you'd like to buy or sell, you can proceed in the next period. And going on to the business cases, the business case will provide you with an interesting task uh, that I actually have already been talking a lot about today. Um, it is some problem or business idea for you to resolve in teams. Although some information is given, it is up to you to decide on the context, parameters, and approach to your solution. You will have a certain amount of time to resolve the case and send the presentation and the video of your solution. It is to be done in English. Here is the video about it. Hello, here's the guide to how to conduct the peer grading. When beginning the peer grading, Make sure that you carefully watch the whole business case presentation. You can also make key notes to help you later on when ranking the performance. When you open the form, the first steps that you will need to take is to fill in the information of your team and the team that you are grading. It is really important that you fill in the information correctly as mistakes can prevent you from participating in the economics and FLG rounds. When you rank the other teams, make sure that you are being objective. If they understood the assignment well, but had a few miscalculations in their numbers, mark the performance accordingly. Make sure to think it through why you're giving the other team a specific grade. And now we are going to dive a bit deeper in what we already have in our IOIX community. Uh, we, we have invited some special guests here. So firstly, uh, when we developed it, we got to know that ice breaking process in an online format is an important part of every event. So we needed to learn to do it. If we were to expect a person to participate in, in an event, actually, of course. And we wanted to find a way for people to get acquainted. Uh, it happened so that on every hour Olympic, there was one person you just could not ignore, even if you wanted to. He gets you off guard and smiling in a matter of seconds. He's just a good fellow, but also he's got more than 20 years experience in Toastmasters. So we ask him to teach us and here he is. Please meet Pat Egan, the toasted core of our Toastmasters. Pat, please, floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. That's very kind of you. Um, so can I see the presentation, please? Yeah. So uh, welcome all. Uh, look, according to most studies, people's number one fear is public speaking. Number two is death. Death is number two. Does that sound right? This means that the average person, if you go to a funeral, you're better off in the casket than doing the eulogy. Now, that doesn't make sense to us. So when I think of our group, our IEOX group, I think of relaxation. I think of laughter. I think of cooperation. I think of improvement. And I certainly think of connection. And that, it's that connection that has kept us true two years of remote learning and three, two years of remote Olympians. 
Can you move on? Sorry. Now, we meet once every two weeks, and it's normally for about an hour, an hour, about an hour normally, but Felix is speaking, it's an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, we learn to do presentations. We learn mutual evaluation. We learn confidence building, mentoring, leadership, storytelling, cooperation, giving and accepting challenges, conversation English. But the two biggest things I think we learn is friendship building and we learn to listen. Uh, that's important for us males in particular, but we learn to listen. So if you can move it on, please. So what does a typical meeting entail? Well, the roles are as follows. You can be a topics master, a timekeeper, an ad counter, an evaluator, a speaker, a grammarian, or a chairperson. And each of those, you know, it's a, there's a skill in itself. And each of those skills will serve you in the workplace and it will serve you very well in your personal life. So I think there's a lot to be gained by this, but it's very, very, it's done in a very, very ha happy way. If you can move it on, please. So what do we talk about? Well, if you can move, um, lock picking, pig's blood, life, death, stories. We've heard it all, according to Anna. So what don't we talk about? Are there limits? Given what's going on in the world right now, what don't we talk about? Well, there's only one thing, and that's economics. Um, so we tend to just talk about what comes along. So can you move it up, please? So what's in it for you guys? Well, as young, very upwardly mobile students, you guys will be moving to, you know, some of you are secondary, you'll be going to third level, some of you are going to be third level, switching universities, some of you guys will be migrating and all of that. There are 16,000 clubs worldwide and 100, in 143 different countries. Many of these are established with some of the big companies like Microsoft and Amazon. These uh, member, Toastmasters membership will give you a leg in. It will give you a person to know, it will give you a contact, but most of all, it will give you the confidence to go out and get that job. And that is the key thing. And I think that's what you guys really want from this. Can you move on, please? So as someone who's teaching with over 20 years, 25 years, what do I want from it? Well, there's, I suppose, two things. The first thing I really like is the friendship. So I like meeting Alex from Moscow, or Yulia from Kursk, Zsa from China, Germano from Brazil, or Spiros or Christos from Greece, Fernando, you know, from Ecuador, or Anna from New York, or if I feel lonely, I can talk to Fuelan from Monaghan. However, I like to be challenged too, and I suppose a recent uh, challenge, and I still get them all the time, was one that I should improve my visual skills, my visual presentation. So this is my first uh, uh, well, Canva presentation. So, you know, we're learning all the time and we push each other. Can you move on, please? But I suppose, you know, in the words of Alex, it's like a meeting with good friends on a Friday evening. You prepare for it, you wait for it, and you have a lot of fun. So I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> the, pre the present part of this slide <laughs> just makes me uh, laugh a lot. <laughs> so my love. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you soon and uh, seeing you all guys uh, on the Toastmasters too. Um, so um, I all have also made something unusual. Uh, we created a lot of questions um, from students. We, we, we received a lot of questions from students on how to get to participate in the IEO. Uh, and I'm going to present a ne our next speaker here, uh, Jean Pedro. So um, to get there, one needs to win the national competition, uh, but uh, to, to get to the IEO, one needs to win the national competition. But why couldn't we provide everyone an opportunity to, to try themselves? After all, we do give the tasks away after the IO. Uh, why not creating an open to participate Olympiad? So we invited one of our partners who have been 
with us the whole time and started the National Olympiad alongside with the IO to help the students to get on board. They have even been able to win it too many times already. And uh, it was our Brazilian partner presented, represented by Germana who invented the name for this Olympiad to be called the Open Track and with his team organize it to happen. So please welcome one of Open Track organizers, Jean Pedro, the floor is yours. Thank you, Alex. So hello everyone, my name is João Pedro and I'm an economics student at the University of Sao Paulo. And I'm, the I'm a member of the organizing commission of the Brazilian Economics Olympiad. And as Alex said, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Open Track, where I currently serve as operations officer since its first edition in 2020. So a little bit of history first. In most international scientific Olympiads, only those who are selected by the national competitions are allowed to participate. That also was also the case for the IEO. Then when the pandemic happened and the IEO 2020 was held online, one idea emerged. Why not conduct a parallel competition with the same activities and tax, 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 uh, but promote awareness of economic, <clears throat> with same activities and tasks, but open to everyone who wants to participate. After all, one of the aims of the IEO is to promote awareness of the economics, finance, and business, and well, an open competition with high quality questions and challenge and interesting lectures is a really good way to further one's knowledge. So if you've enjoyed the experience you're about to have on the Winter Challenge, and I'm pretty sure you will, they're doing a really good job. You have the opportunity to have a similar experience in the IEO, both on the main track, and on the open track. The OT, as I said earlier, is open to all. So even if your country doesn't have a national competition or if you're not selected to your delegation, you can have the IO experience on the open track. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you John. Yeah. Alexander, I think oh. it's your okay. turn. So before uh, I reveal the business case, uh, have you been able to guess it? from the opening ceremony. Uh, it's a task for you like to, to try yourself out now. Please uh, state your guesses in the chat here in, in the Zoom. Uh, I will be waiting for a little bit uh, for, you, for you to try to guess it. And uh, then I will be well revealing it. Uh, do you have, do you have a Pink Floyd? No. Pink Floyd <laughs> is not a business case. Yeah. <laughs> Fundraising for IO, already done this last year. Uh, something with tinfoil. Not sure I, do, I know that what the tinfoil is, actually. Uh, with vaccines. No, electric vehicles, already done this both. <laughs> Women and human rights would be a good topic, but no. Uh, about ecology. Well, it has something to do with ecology, but not in the way that you would think it is. So, no. Connected with music, a voice show at I.O. Wow, yes, it could be. Uh, it is a close guess, but uh, not that specific. Trade, mm, not so much. Transport, no. Uh, sustainability, mm, yes, it has something to do with sustainability. Money laundering, well, <laughs> not here, guys. Uh, communication, globalization, society. Yes, a very close guesses. After COVID economy mm, has something to do with this. Toastmaster, maybe. Energy, no. Trade, no. COVID, uh, no. Cryptocurrency, no. Healthcare, well, no. Peaky blinders, work from home. Food companies, so many guesses, guys. You know, some of you, I wouldn't be able to read all of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just so many guesses. Uh, so yeah, I will be going on to revealing the case itself. And uh, to those of you who have guessed it, uh, congrats, congrats. Uh, also, I think that we have provided you with some information for uh, preparation. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, here is the case itself. Um, Usually we have a topic related to the IO, as you might know. This time it is uh, intervened not only with the IO, uh, but with the Winter Challenge too. 
So um, can we move on to the next slide, please? Yeah, your task is to develop a concept of a self-sustainable social network around the International Economics Olympiad. So we will be sending you the tasks in emails and in chats. And when you receive it, um, you are together with your team, look through the details of the task. And can we go to the next slide, please? Um, like what you need to estimate, how can you do it? Then check on the grading parameters um, by which the task is going to be evaluated to know what is expected from you. It's all included in the task, so you will see it yet again. You don't need to like screen or write down from the screen now. Uh, don't worry, you will receive it all. And then you have to decide how to resolve it, who wishes to do what, or maybe do it together. When do you meet? How do you prepare the presentation? How do you uh, record the video? In the end, we expect you to upload your solution as a recorded video and a PDF file with your presentation. You can look at the results of previous years as a reference. Uh, we will be sending you the links in the chats. Uh, we have already done it. I will repeat it again. And um, you can use those as reference in the results of previous years, I mean. But uh, I don't suggest you to, to use it as a recommendation on how to do it, because be creative, guys. Uh, some of you I know can do wonderful uh, videos. Some of you uh, already have presented a lot. So, uh, use your skills, use your talents. Try to use all members of your team's experiences and strong sites so that uh, you can develop a good uh, solution. After you upload your solution, you will have some time to review and peer grade the solutions of others, as we have already told you. Uh, it is a very interesting procedure in which you are able to see the results of other teams. And when you do, you will follow on to, to solve the business case or to solve the financial literacy game and the economics tasks. And we will be announcing the winners on the closing ceremony. So that's basically it. But the winners of the business case will have an opportunity to participate in a final round in which we will invite professional judges and you will be presenting in front of everyone. So we will have some time to prepare it. That's basically it. Now I give the floor back to Eleni. And I again invite you all to join in into the uh, IOX community yourselves and help us to develop it. Thank you so much, Alexander, and thank you to the previous speakers for presenting their pro the projects. Uh, so, as Alexander said before, uh, you will receive the emails with the PDF of the business case. So, all information will be included there. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, uh, here is just some more information about how to find us and contact us. We have the IO official site, the IOX site, and the Winter Challenge website, which we mentioned before. And of course, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and from now on to on LinkedIn. Uh, we ask you to connect with us. Here are also the actual taglines you can use. And before we end the opening ceremony of Winter Challenge 2022, I, I would like to thank you for joining in today. And don't forget to, that we are also going to be having uh, some lectures during the event. Uh, you can all participate. Uh, we will be uploading it on social media. Uh, so you will be able to find more information there. But the next uh, lecture will be by Christina Drost on the 6th of February at 12 p.m. UTC. Uh, she is an inter intern at BCG Russia. Uh, she will be sharing a few tips on business cases, 
what are the next steps and she will introduce you to a consultant's job. So if this is something you are interested in, you should definitely join on the 6th of February. We will also make a reminder in the Telegram group chat. So yes, just note the date down so you know when to join. Thank you for coming here today. We are excited to start Winter Challenge 2022. You will receive the emails with a business case and you can start working on it with your teams. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining. Have a nice rest of your days. And wishing you success with the business case and all the rest of the parts of the challenge. Yeah.